in one of my recent videos, I uh, tested JobScan and JobScan is an online tool where you can upload your resume and a job ad that you're planning to apply for. And then it generates a kind of evaluation that shows your potential performance if the company uses an ATS tool. So if you've missed out on that, uh, make sure to check it out. I'll link it at the end of this video and also up here for you. Um, but uh, I posted this video and a lot of you asked me if this tool also works if um, you apply in German. So if you upload a German Lebenslauf <laughs> and a German job ad. And today I'm going to give this a try and let you know what I think and if it actually works or not. So let me share my screen with you and we'll hop on to the job scan website and let's see. So I've already prepared for this a bit. So today I'm going to use a CV of a junior software developer. Again, it's a fake profile as always, um, but I've made sure that it's um, kind of in line with the job ad I have chosen. So um, I've copied a job description um, for a junior software developer position, which was published in German. And here I now can um, upload the resume that I want to use. So I'm just going to pull in the file that I'm planning to, to use for this test. It's a German um, CV and then now it's analyzing, fetching recommendations already and I'll paste in the job description here. So the job description as you can see, as you can see is in German. Um, uh, the data looks a bit um, awkward because it includes all kinds of um, spaces in here, but I think the most um, important part is that it's able to read the keywords. Um, so now let's see what happens. It's now scanning my resume and here we go. I think we'll get the results soon. So it shows a 24% match rate. It's not very high, right? So it says that we find that 80% is generally a good match. So maybe I have not really screened the job ad enough. So I'm sure that could be things that I could adapt. Um, but I think our main aim here is to figure out if it works in German language, right? And I'll take a close look at that right now. So we don't need a tool because I've already tried out this tool before. So now let's see what we've got. Um, it says that the skills don't really match. So here you can see the skill match and it only shows eight out of 28. So I'll take a closer look at that later because I think if you have a language translation issue, then it may be really difficult to provide a proper skills match, but it's just a guess. Um, let's see. Now, Let's run through it. Um, again, JobScan offers a premium version and I'm only using the free version. I have never tried out the premium version. Um, so you, we only get to see limited data, but I think it's still helpful. And if we look at the detailed findings here, we can see that it says, uh, you are missing four important high value skills on your resume. And I find that very interesting because I really paid attention to choosing a job ad that's in line with a fake profile I'm using. And here it says, uh, it gives me an example. It says, for example, im appears on the job description three times and it's not on your resume. So here that's kind of an issue because im, yeah, that's a German word. <laughs> but it's not a skill. So I think that maybe job scan is only suitable for um, English versions, but it's a guess. Let's continue and see what else we got. Um, in, in general, even if it um, is not good for German versions because it doesn't really identify the skills in the right way, it may still be helpful to use it. And I'll tell you why at the end, once I'm done with my test. Um, so you can see here, I missed a lot of skills that are mentioned and I can click on the skills comparison, which again only shows a limited skills comparison. And here you can see a few of the words that it has um, pulled out of a job description. And what I can see here is that I guess that the tool cannot really differentiate between the general company description and the particular description of um, this job opening because it also says um, something like Erlang, which is not a proper word, male, selenium. Um, okay, selenium may be um, uh, referring to uh, the specific skills, but apart from that, um, marketing, 
Mail, Erlang. I don't know. It's um, that's a bit confusing. And then it also shows other skills like PDF. I don't think that's so relevant here, but a few terms that uh, where I could actually improve the profile. So okay, um, for these specific skills. Um, I'm surprised that it doesn't list them. So uh, because the profile I uploaded actually includes Git, um, Git. I mean, Git is a general thing, but um, specific um, skills like MySQL, DevOps, and so on. So I've listed these here, but I guess that I've not named the category in the right way. And probably it's not really um, able to identify these categories because they are named in German language. So this may be one of the issues here. And then to check this, I'll scroll back up because we have um, more data here that will help us find out. So it has identified the educational background. Um, so that's good. Um, one thing that worked, but now here with the section headings, which is um, this part here, we see that actually it doesn't really work in German language because it says that the section headings are not correct and it suggests that I use work history or professional experience. And I've used proper German terms like um, Berufserfahrung and other things um, here. So it should be able to identify these sections. And from this result, I guess that's also why the skills were not identified because it could not recognize that there was a skills section, meaning in this case, I called it Kenntnisse und Fähigkeiten. Um, you can also call it weitere Kenntnisse oder weitere Qualifikation. So these would be the German terms. Um, if you need more information on that, you can take a look at uh, one of my other videos where I tested a resume generator, by the way, I'll link it for you up here. And also at the end of the video, you can take a look at that um, if you want to make sure that you get the German version right. So apparently here again, the German um, translation doesn't really work in job scan. Also the date formatting um, has been identified in the right way in most of the case, cases, but it shows that there's one incorrect date. And this date is actually the birth date that I've provided on the resume that I uploaded. And it says that the date is not correct because of the formatting, but actually the formatting I've used here is the way we format dates in Germany. <laughs> um, so we have different approaches to that, but this is a standard way. So we use these dots in between, and um, this is a bit different from the English way of writing um, dates and the formats uh, that it suggests up here. So um, that's probably why um, it had an issue here. Word count seems fine. Job level match seems fine. That's good because I really paid attention to that. Um, the general tone is also good. Again, um, when I tested this ATS or this job scan tool in English, um, I also had an issue with the page size that's still not resolved. I don't know why it keeps occurring, but I saw in the comments that I'm not the only one having this issue. So maybe it's a general bug. I don't know. Um, so the rest seems fine. Um, so my my general review would be that um, job scan doesn't really work on German profiles and German job ads, but it may still be helpful if you want to have um, yeah, a general assessment. Um, maybe if you've really worked on the keywords in your um, uh, resume, then it could still be helpful, even if it's in German language, uh, to give you a rough idea. But then you would have to ignore um, the part on um, date formatting and so on. And you would have to deal with the fact that it's not really an accurate result. Um, yeah, so that's my um, review on job scan in German language. Um, let me know if you've probably found another tool that's more helpful. I would be happy to try it out. And I'm planning to continue with a series of trying out different online tools. So everything that makes um, yeah, the life of job applicants in Germany easier. Also, maybe other tools that have helped you in your life in Germany in general. I'd be happy to learn about them and um, also give them a try. So let me know what else you'd like me to test. And do leave me a subscription if you like this video. I hope to see you here on my YouTube channel again. And yeah, enjoy um, trying out these different tools here. Take a look at um, the other tests I ran to generate resumes and cover letters. So I'll link the playlist for you here. 
Um, and I hope that this is helpful for you. All the best for your job search. <laughs>